Final part of my London vlog will include some famous places and some less famous, but I still think very cool ones. British Museum is one of the best museums I have ever visited. The entrance is free, which is great, and you can spend many, many hours in here. The museum is divided into sections, such as the Greek section with statues from Parthenon Temple. My favorite part of the museum has to be the Egyptian section, because I'm a huge fan of Egyptian history. Many artifacts were around 4 to 5 thousand years old, including these mummies. This was the beautiful statue from Easter Island. This part with artifacts from Asia was very nice as well. Since this museum is free, I highly recommend everyone to visit it while in London. Borough Market is a nice tiny market not far from Thames River. You can buy some fresh stuff here, such as fruits, veggies, meat, fish and many many others. I loved the atmosphere here. Please visit Chinatown. Great people, great food, overall just great experience. Piccadilly Circus is this little famous square with a lot of flat screens. You can take some cool pictures here. Regent Street and Oxford Street are great for shopaholics, since there are like hundreds of shops and stores. Westminster Abbey is located right next to the Palace of Westminster. It's one of the nicest churches I have ever visited. Over 3000 people are buried here, and it was a site of some coronations, weddings and funerals as well. Most famous people buried here are Charles Darwin, founder of the evolution theory, astrophysicist Stephen Hawking, discoverer of gravity Isaac Newton, Charles Dickens, English writer, Rudyard Kipling, author of the Jungle Book, David Lloyd George, Prime Minister of the UK during First World War. Some of the tombs are really spectacular. Aside from those people, over 30 monarchs, kings and queens are buried here as well. Last and most famous and most iconic building here in London, the Big Ben, which is actually called Elizabeth Tower. Big Ben is the name of the bell which is inside the tower. It's renovated, it's beautiful during the day and during the night too. I took like a hundred of pictures of it, but I will show you just a couple of them. So this was how I spent my 5 days in London. If you wanna see more of my traveling videos in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.